Hey guys, this is Maliha, and today I'm going to show you a relatively recent feature of Canva. So go to canva.com, click social media, and then over here, click quick create. It's going to open up a new tab. And what you see here is a way to create a bunch of social media graphics for all the different platforms in just a couple of minutes with just a few clicks. Let me show you how. So for example, in this step, you have to choose the templates you're going to create. So for me, I know that I need Instagram post, Pinterest pin, story, and Facebook post. You can also choose Facebook cover, email header, Twitter, LinkedIn, etc. I don't use them, so I'm not going to choose those. Once I have chosen the graphics that I want, I'm going to hit continue. And this is going to show me the available designs. So I recommend that you go over these templates before you move on with the next set of steps, just to you know, have a feel for the kind of style you like. So I know for me that I want these templates. I like these ones, so I'm going to keep an eye out on these set of templates and see what they look like as I continue on with the rest of the steps. So going back to your left panel, it's asking for some texts. So I know that one of my blog posts is going to be on sponsored blog posts. So the title is a guide to sponsored blog posts. Cool. Now, as you can see, it's giving me a red number here. It's showing me that the recommended uh, character limit is 25. But from previous experience, I know that even if you go a little beyond the recommended character limit, you should still be okay. So for example, over here, I can already see a guide to sponsored blog posts. It looks just fine, even though it went over the recommended 25 characters. Similarly, on the additional text, I'm gonna write a step-by-step -step guide to working with your dream brands. And it's looking pretty good. Fix some typos and hit continue. And in the next step, it's asking you to add some images. So some of the templates have images on them. So for that, you can upload it right here. Or if you already have uploaded some images, it's going to show up right over here. I know that I'm going to use this image that I have already uploaded. And in the next step, it's asking for brand kit. So basically your logos. I'm going to make the assumption that you have already set up your brand kit like I have. So your logos, your color palettes and everything. And now I'm going to choose a logo from this list. I have quite a few variations, as you can see. So I'm going to choose this one because this is my main logo, but it doesn't look too good. So I think I'm going to use one of the monogram logos. Much better right here, as you can see. So when you like how things look, click continue. And now it's asking to select a template collection from the preview on the right. So I have already decided on this one, so I'm going to click this one and hit continue. And boom, I really like these templates. And it only took me, I don't know, a couple of minutes. So as you can see, I have the option to change the colors here with my brand colors. And if you haven't set up a brand color palette yet, you can choose a color palette from these list of palettes. I'm going to choose mine. And OK, they're fine. But as you can see, it's showing shuffle. So I can hit shuffle to change the colors again, do a different set of colors. Um, just to see what happens, I'm going to click shuffle again. And wow, yeah, I think I like these a lot better. So once you're happy with it, click finish. And you're done. You have your social media graphics. You can download it right here. Or if you want to make some changes, you can click see my collections and it automatically creates a folder on your Canva account. And then from here, as any Canva design, you can just click and open the design and make some changes. Like for this one, I know that I would like a darker color for this. So I'm going to change the color to a darker color, like so. And when I'm happy with it, I'm going to download. And that's it. 
If you liked it, let me know in the comments. Um, if you have any questions, let me know, and I will see you again later. Bye!